one of my best pieces of advice for business owners in 2021 is to get someone on camera, to find someone in your organization who can be the spokesperson and get them in front of the camera. Whenever I recommend this though, I hear all sorts of reasons why people don't wanna create video. So today I'm gonna to share with you the top reasons business owners don't wanna record video and what I suggest as answers to each of those objections. So I'm Samantha Russell from 20 Over 10. And as I said, it is so crucial, especially right now, more than ever, when people are engaging online, primarily over any other form of communication, to have someone be a spokesperson for your business. This person is gonna be the face of the company, so you'll often see me here representing 20 over 10, and now since our recent acquisition by FMG Suite, I am officially the chief evangelist for both 20 over 10 and FMG Suite. And this is important because people will look to one person to be the face of that company, they'll be much better able to forge relationships, to feel a personal connection with a human being than a brand, than a logo, right? And so getting someone on camera is so crucial. But here are the types of objections that we hear. Number one, I'm worried I will trip over my words. That's okay. Tripping over your words makes you human and we are trying to form human connection. So seeing somebody else make a mistake makes us feel like, oh, that's a real human being. In fact, I really suggest that you don't script your words, which actually leads me to uh, objection number two, which is I can't memorize a script or I can't read a teleprompter. It's okay. Right now, if you saw what I'm doing, I am holding my computer screen. I have the list of items I wanna talk about and you'll see me glance down every couple of minutes and look at those main bullet points while I'm referencing what it is that I want to talk about with all of you. So don't use a script, speak extemporaneously. And if you trip over a word, laugh at yourself, which leads me to objection number three is people worrying they're going to look dumb. You're not gonna look dumb. In fact, if you make a mistake and you can laugh at yourself, people will like you more because you are not trying to be a perfectionist or a robot. It just, again, makes you more human. And another thing people will say is, I don't want to look unprofessional. Here's the thing, so many of us are working from home. So many of us don't have an office space that we can record video in. And that, again, is okay. A ton of research has been done on what types of posts we are most likely to click on on social media sites. And interestingly enough, you will see more and more companies in 2021 than ever before creating ads that don't look like ads. And that's because research has found that when it doesn't look like an ad, when it looks like our friend posted a video of himself or someone else had posted a photo and some copy about what they're doing that weekend, we are much more likely then to click on those ads and share them and read them and interact with them because they look like organic things that would appear in our feed, not like an ad. So hopefully this mindset shift will shift, see, I just did it, <laughs> will help get you in front of the camera in 2021. Remember, do not let perfect be the enemy of good and done. If you want some more tips about how to look good in front of a camera, find good lighting, have a good setup, we'll link to those tips below as we have many other videos on how to get started with video marketing. But just get started. Getting started is the hardest part. And once you do it, you will be well on your way to creating a consistent routine. I'm Samantha Russell from 20 Over 10 and FMG Suite, and I look forward to seeing you all on next week's video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. Have a good one.